Welcome back to the Value Investors Club. I'm your host, Timon Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with VIC readings. There's another short recommendation filed in on October 2nd by Loyals. Yeah. Listen, listen. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, let's get right into it. Lincoln Electronics Holdings Inc. Lico shorted. Um, this is not a recommendation, only information. Description: Lincoln Electronics is a highly cyclical business. Lincoln Elect Electrics. Um, Lincoln. Electrics revenue are cyclical. Revenues declined minus 25% in COVID, um, minus 50% in the 2015-2016 commodity bust, and minus 35% in the financial crisis, and minus 10% in the dot-com bust. Lincoln Electri Electri Electrics margins are cyclical. EBITDA margins declined minus 250 basis points in COVID, um, minus 300 basis points in the 2015-2016 commodity bus, and minus 1,100 basis points in the financial crisis, and one, minus 1,000 po basis points in the dot-com bust. Lincoln Electric is exposed to short cycle demand. 58% of revenue is consumables, i.e. metal products consumed in the process of welding. welding. And 42% of revenue is welding equipment use in industrial end markets. There's risk to Lincoln Electric's 2023 E volumes. Specifically, these appears to be 40 million of risk, minus 40 million of risk from volumes in 2023 E. Um, I scope a minus 2% volume decline versus consensus 4% volume growth in 2023 E. I scope flat volumes in the U.S., 57% of revenue. Lincoln Electronics U.S. welding demand is largely driven by U.S. industrial production. I scope a minus 3% to minus 5% volume decline in international, 29% of revenue. Lincoln Electrics international welding demand is largely driven by European industrial production. I scope minus 5% to minus 7% volume decline in Harris, 40% of revenue. Harris is a Lincoln Electric soldering and brazing business and includes products sold at retailers such as Home Depot and Lowy's. Harris soldering and brazing demand is driven largely by residential havoc demand. There's risk to Lincoln Electric's 2023 e pricing. Specifically, there appears to be a minus... 40 million of risk of pricing in 2023. I scope a minus 2% pricing decline versus consensus of plus 1 pricing growth in 2023 E. I, sc I scope a minus 1% to minus 3% pricing in the US, 57% of revenue. Lincoln Electric's US welding pricing is largely driven by steel prices, which are down from minus 44% year to date. I scope minus 1% to minus 3% pr pricing decline in international, 29% of revenue. Uh, Lincoln Electric's international welding pricing is largely driven by steel prices, which are down minus 44% year-to-date. I scope minus 3% to minus 5% pricing decline in Harris, 40% of revenue. Harris pricing is largely driven by silver and copper prices, as these are key consumable metals used in soldering and brazing. Silver and copper are each down approximately 25% year-to-date. Currencies will be in an additional drag. There's an additional four, minus 40 million risk from currencies, which will be a, a minus 3% drag on 2023 EU revenue versus consensus. Minus 1% drag. drag. 30% of the business is conducted in foreign currency, largely euros. Taken together, I bridge to minus 120 million or minus 15% risk cons to consensus 2023 EBITDA estimates for the company. Importantly, um, these estimates do not contemplate a full-blown re recession, but rather are reflected of US and European industrial production assumptions that approximate uh, street estimates. The stock does not to be a does not appear to be fully discounting the above cyclical risk. The stock has sold off significantly less than peers. Lincoln Electric is down minus 10% year-to-date versus peer ITW, ESAB, and Kenna Metal down minus 26%, minus 33%, and minus 41% respectfully. With earnings double pre-COVID levels, the multiple is only slightly below its pre-COVID average. 
the stock is trading at 15x consensus 2023 e eps versus its versus is its versus its long term average multiple of 18x similarly the stock is trading at 11x consensus 2023 ebitda versus its long-term average of 12x. I do not hold a position with the issuers such as employment, directorship, or consultancy. I and or others I advise hold a material investment in the issuer's security. Catalyst, 2023 earnings missing consensus estimates. I do not recommend this. For me, it's only information. Thank you very much for tuning in. Short Lincoln Electric Holdings. When he wrote this, the price was at 125.72. Tune in next time.